Hello everyone, my name is Mate Davis and I'm here to tell you something interesting about sensation and perception. So my question was, why do some people like certain sounds of some genres compared to others? Just a quick refresher, music is ordered sound made and perceived by human beings, which created in meaningful patterns. Those patterns are the three dimensions of music, which is pitch, rhythm, dynamics. Finally, how is the music perceived in the brain? There's usually higher activation in the right temporal lobe through the secondary auditory cortex. These points are important in relation to what I found to answer the question. And what I found to help answer this question, that age and emotional connections really affected someone's preference for certain genres compared to others. So Caroline conducted three overall studies to research the age aspect while Alverson and others researched the emotional connections of music preference. So the first study I'm gonna go over is the age study which is to investigate in the first study the differences of music listening as an indicator as an effective regulatory preferences among the age groups which just means emotionally regulation while the second study was to compare the music listening choices of the individuals from different age groups from the first study to help provide a behavioral indicator for the emotional regulation preferences while experiencing effective states varying in feelings and arousal levels, which just is defined as regulatory motivation of pleasantness, unpleasantness, and just arousal levels relating to that. So whether or not someone was really pleased by the music, unpleased by the music. And finally, the third study, which is a replication of the second study. And what they found was older adults liked music that had more pleasantness to this, to them while there is less arousal, which can mean softer rhythm, less dynamics. Then middle-aged adults only differ from older adults than time spent listening to music with higher arousal, which kind of shows that during middle age, that music preferences kind of switch dramatically. And then finally, furthermore, it became evident that older adults' levels of tension were reduced more strongly from before to after music browsing than any other age group, which I found pretty interesting. The next study is focusing on emotional connections to music. The aim of the study was to investigate changes of cortical activity in elderly, healthy adults during stimulation of emotional music, neutral or silence, and they focused on this group because they want to use the study as a comparison for those with dementia. And what they found is the right temporal lobe showed a highly significant increase when they're listening to emotional music compared to resting in silence. There was some activation of the right temporal lobe when listening to neutral music, but it wasn't as much as the emotional music. And then finally, even though there are individual differences with the nine participants reporting that emotional music had caused a highly intense experience compared to the remaining three participants, which reported neutral or less intense emotions, which could also play a factor into someone's music preference. Some people may want to feel more intense emotions. Some people may want to experience less intense emotions. It just depends on the person. And because I'm focusing on music, just a couple of fun facts relating to music preference. The average American in 2019 listened to 26.8 hours of music per week, while the most popular genre of that year was K-pop and the least popular genre of 2019 was jazz. And thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions, comments, reply down below and I hope you have a wonderful break.